As we start to see the US dollar fumble and stumble, so shall we see the complete opposite happen in all and wonderful crypto assets. Thank you for being back here with me on Crypto Bliss channel. I truly appreciate you, my special being. Thank you for being part of my community all around. You are absolutely just a rock star and I appreciate you in all wonderful ways. Let's shift on to the most awesome content of this video. This video is going to be very short for you. Let's dive right in. Today, the US debt clock continues to print money into existence. Every single second that we are breathing, that you are watching this video right now, this ticker just continues to go up. The debt continues to grow. And I'm going to show you a few graphs in today's video that is going to shock you. That is just showing you that this is just the beginning. So if you recall on my previous video over here, I actually said to you how the debt would become much worse. Now, I will leave the video that I've just done for you pinned in the card above so that you can get conceptualized why the Federal Reserve will just essentially destroy itself through money printing brr, 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 because that's all that it is worth in this time. So let us shift on to the most incredible components of this video. Thank you for being here with me and let's delve right in. So firstly, I'd like to share and show with you on this video how you can actually retire with 0.1 Bitcoin. Let's, let's compare and contrast. Under the fiat system, if you are to follow the 25x rule, just to retire on the average income, Brian and I both know that 73k in Miami and California is absolutely nothing, right? Um, but again, this is kind of like the average for the country, right? $73,000. And if you go anywhere else in the world, $73,000 is a lot of money. You can live pretty well. Mm. But that's why, I'm, that's why I'm using it for this example specifically. But if you just wanted to retire on 73K, you need $1.82 million. Here in South Africa, 73,000 is about 1.5 million Rand. You could live pretty well for a few years with 1.5 million Rand. In fact, probably kind of like five, six years, you could probably live in a decent space and eat well, live well. Right. That's not accounting for the part of your income that you're going to put in taxes. You're going to put in housing. You're going to put in healthcare. That's it, not accounting any of that. You need 1.82 million just to feel like you can retire peacefully. I think that's unachievable for most people, in my opinion. Like, unless you're extremely disciplined, you know what you're doing. I think for most people, I think reaching that number is going to be very, very difficult. Now, let's talk about what Brian just said. What about on Bitcoin? What about saving on Bitcoin? What about hoping to retire on, on a Bitcoin standard? That conversation changes dramatically. So Brian expects 150% Bitcoin appreciation rate over the next 10 years. Let's keep the 73,000 the same. Let's keep the USD increase 4%, so 1% over what it's currently being reported as, and your stack size. Now, what's really crazy about this with these high numbers is that your moon date would actually be this year. <laughs> Five months. Wait, three months from now. Let's so go. If you just have one Bitcoin, you could, and it appreciates 150% over the next 10 years, you can theoretically retire uh, this year, which is absolutely nuts. But okay, let's go a little bit down because I know that one Bitcoin's out of the reach, out of the hands of, uh, out of the, uh, out of the reach of a lot of people. Um, especially if you're new to Bitcoin, your class of 2024, or class of 2023. I want to be respectful to you guys. So let's just put it down. Point one Bitcoin, right? When is your moon date? 2027. So 2027, if Bitcoin's annual appreciation rate is 150, you can theoretically retire off point one Bitcoin. So per, point one Bitcoin is gur currently going to cost you $6,900. Now compare and contrast that with this. So $6,000 versus 1.82 million. Now I know what a lot of you guys are going to say. Annual appreciation rate is a bit high. Okay. So let's go ultra conservative. I, I, if this hit 20%, 
I would be highly disappointed, but let's just do it for the sake of this, right? Your uh, your retirement would be 2054. So 2054, I think that's 30 years from now, right? So if you're 30, that's roughly, you know, you're roughly uh, you're roughly 60 years old or 65 or 60. Yeah, literally like 60 years old. And that's with 10 million sats? That's with 10 million sats. So that costs you $6,900 today. And Brian, get this. This is only with an annual Bitcoin appreciation rate of 20%. Which we know, like... And with no further stacking as well. No further stacking. Just point 0.1. That's it. Wow. That's insane. Yeah. So, contra- like, contrast that with this. Like, what Fiat World is telling you is to... Dude, you somehow got to manage to put together $1.84 million in Fiat for you to retire versus... Dude, just buy $6,900 worth of Bitcoin, work, work, wait 30 years, and you'll be able... Don't, don't worry about it right like it, it's night and day and this is why i say bitcoin is deterministic optimism bitcoin is hope in a world of fiat darkness bitcoin gives you the ability to plan right anyways i do want to pass it on to opti opti wait, 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 wait. Can we, yeah, let's plug some numbers in here so do let we could keep one bitcoin uh we'll keep that up the inflation to like 15 and then we'll go with um, Brian's 150 appreciation rate. Okay, so the moon date would be 2027. That's crazy. 10 million sats? 10 million sats. That's crazy. Do, do a whole coin for the whole coiners out there. 2024. We're retiring the end of this year. Let's go. Oh, got a few months. Now, as you can see, this is how you personally can retire using one Bitcoin. And I'm gonna show you a few more charts as to why that would make a big difference. The chart number one, the US M2 or money to supply, as I have always shared with you, every single time it hit the bottom, it ran up, it rallied up, it rallied up, it rallied up, and we have hit the bottom hard for a while now. And the MACD has come collapsed. That's two signals already. And the third is the PMO. The fourth is my uh, EMA ribbon. And the fifth signal is my uh, UT bots buy signal here. And all I need is five ticks to tell me actually that something is looking really positive for that particular trade in this instance, a trading uh, scenario. And every single time we have had a buy, we have literally just gone completely berserk and bonkers up. So now that you've seen the video, I'd like to show you, obviously with the dollar's demise and the dollar's collapse, it doesn't mean the dollar's gonna fall out the tree. It could mean that the dollar has a bit of a rally because it's printing more dollars. There's now more dollars into existence. So a number of things could actually just shock the system. But when you really look at the debt clock and how this chart of the money to supply continues to go up forever and ever and ever well let's go and have a look at even just 2028 because 2028 is four years away and hence why this particular video from the lads here at simply bitcoin tell us that we can retire on 0.1 bitcoin the us debt clock if you click here you get 2028 it's 34.8 right now in us debt in four years time it's going to be 46.4 that's four years time four years time wow 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 okay so in four years time there will be more uh, sorry 12 trillion dollars even okay that is absolute mad so i want to go and have a look at the 2016 cycle because 2016 right now we're 34 2016 we were that's eight years ago. We were 20, call it $21 trillion. Okay. That is epic. In 2008, when the market cycle crash was. All right, let's go and have a look. We were at 11.7, which was the previous eight years before. So in the current time, okay, they have printed the most amount of money that has ever been printed into absolute existence in this time so right now is not the time to be shy on your bitcoin right now you can see that the bitcoin rainbow chart all the way up to 2020 uh, 2035 all the way up here in the corner 
Okay, it doesn't even go up to 2025. It goes up to 2029 up here. 2029, right in the quarter after the next cycle of halving is a million dollars of Bitcoin. Right now, we're probably going to hit kind of that $400,000, $500,000 per Bitcoin. I personally have a target of $300,000. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. Check out my trades where we're going to be making killer money together because Bitcoin is finding support right now. And maybe we are just getting the chance that we need to get the buy signal to make us the biggest gains ever. And if you hold 0.1 Bitcoin, you will become financially free by the time 2027 comes.